Robarock S7 Robot Vacuum Cleaner, Sonic Mopping Wi-Fi App Control Auto Sweep Dust New Rubber Brush. Hey guys in this video is going to be checking out, the Robarock S7 Robot Vacuum Cleaner checking by right now. In terms of quality these are all kinds of customer reviews and price reductions, I have reviewed this Roborock S7 robot vacuum cleaner based on personal opinion by verifying the market value, if the product you mentioned has more information and an updated price, it needs to be linked in the description below. Ok so start. The first major upgrade is the redesigned TPU center brush. The new design of the brush provides less winding of hair and wool, and, accordingly, more comfortable handling of the robot. Updated center brush. The second, more important upgrade is the new unique Vibrarize technology, which literally translates as vibration and lift. The napkin nozzle is now capable of vibrating at a frequency of up to 3000 times per minute, which allows you to wipe more difficult dirt off the floor. At the same time, when driving onto carpets, as well as when docking with a charging station, the platform with the napkin also rises by about 5 mm so that the flooring does not deteriorate from an excess of moisture. Vibrarize. And last but not least, the optional Roborock S7 supports a self-cleaning base. This is the first robot vacuum cleaner in the Roborock line that can self-clean at the base. Unfortunately, however, the self-cleaning station has not yet gone on sale and the robot is being sold with a conventional charging base. But at least later it will be possible to purchase it separately. Equipment. The robot vacuum cleaner came in this branded box. Charging base, it has brushes in front of the terminals, which clean the contact pads on the robot each time it arrives at the base. Power adapter, wet cleaning nozzle with pre-installed microfiber cloth. Operating instructions and instructions for connecting the robot to the network, translation into Russian is provided. This is the whole package, it is rather meager, there are no spare consumables and accessories. The first thing that catches your eye is the indicator light in front of the control panel. It glows in different colors depending on the status of the robot. For example, when cleaning, the indicator lights up blue, and when charging, green. Looks stylish enough. Control panel and indicator. There are three mechanical buttons on the control panel, forced return to the base for charging, start, and pause and start of the local cleaning mode. The mechanical bumper has a wall sensor on the right, and an obstacle sensor in the center. The active camera, unfortunately, was not installed in this model, but similar navigation will be implemented in the updated Roborock T7S, which will most likely be released by the end of the year. Functionality Roborock S7 is controlled both through Mi Home and through the proprietary Roborock mobile app. I did not find any difference in functions between these applications, and no connection problems were identified. On the main work panel, the robot built a map and automatically zoned it into rooms. In the settings section, we first see the ability to manage the map. The Roborock S7 is of course capable of storing several unique cards in memory. In the settings of the vacuum cleaner itself, you can change the name of the robot, turn off the indicator lights, block the buttons on the body from children or animals that can accidentally press them, set up the do not disturb mode and select the area units. Settings when cleaning carpets. Is just the functionality associated with the new Vibrarize lifting platform. The auto carpet mode is just the automatic lifting of the napkin when a carpet is detected. This is how it works.